I don't do that. I don't do that. Oh, either. we don't play that game. Huh. I mean, I, I that was my, one of my favorite shows ever, and I'm always saying that to people. <laughs> Welcome to Couch Surfing, the show where graceful guests look back at their big roles, their little roles, and everything in between. I'm here with Kelly Bishop. Kelly, let's see what's on, shall we? Let's do. All right. You want me? Yes. He wants me. <laughs> Too tall. So, producer yeah. Michael Bennett, he famously workshopped a number of dancers, and you were the one whose story he chose to tell. Several of the people who were more featured in that show all did these tape sessions that people have heard about. I was actually, I mean, I, I loved doing it because it was my story, and at the ballet was mostly my story. I was delighted, but I thought, I, I had no idea I was that interesting, you know? <laughs> oh, that's cool. Now, this really opened the acting door for you. Were you ready to step away from dancing? Oh, completely. Really? I was eager. You were done. I thought, I want to be an actor. I've got to make this transition right. before I become an old dancer which is ridiculous because yeah. 35 is an old dancer. I gave myself permission to give myself two years, two years, up or out. I had a couple mentors and then this baby came along and I went, okay. And changed everything. My door opened, yeah. And you waltzed right in. I sure did. All right, up next. See, nobody answers. D. Hawaii Five O, And you're playing a tough madam. Yes, <laughs> yes. <laughs> Did you ever have imagined that that would be your first on-screen uh, role? No, <laughs> and it's it's so strange because um, you know most people by the time they're getting to do camera work, they've been to acting school and they've done all this stuff. I hadn't, and I was too proud to tell anyone I didn't know what I was doing. So you faked so it till you made it. Yeah, yeah. And what was that journey like for you to go from the East Coast all the way out to Hollywood and to uh, well, Hawaii? I had gone to Hollywood um, because my agent uh, in New York, she had hooked up with an agent in Los Angeles. Okay. I went out and spent a day with one of the agents who schlepped me around to the casting agents, to the studios. And during that day, at some point, I read for someone and... They liked it. I guess. Nobody puts baby in a corner. So this one was a bomb. No one yeah, saw this. Didn't saw do it. well at all. At all. <laughs> at all. It was like so low budget. Uh, and you've said before that no one expected this to be the hit no, that it was. No. It was an instant classic. I, it, it was. It was crazy. I, I'll tell you what really made it. Well, obviously you're looking at the two of them right there, and Patrick was astonishing. Uh, but the music, once they got that music that we all remembered mm -hmm. from that period, and I've it been brought back it some, all day. There were some groups that had been kind of yes. fallen by the wayside who had a new career. It's true. Um, but yeah, no, and I, I hung around with the dancers as much as anyone, and we all just thought it was junk. This is one of those films that is always on. If I come across it in the middle on television, I'll watch it to the end. Really? It was one of the most fun jobs I ever had. All right, up next. As bad as it <laughs> so pretty. <laughs> Such a look. Such a beautiful, what a beautiful woman. How did you come to play Howard Stern's mother? It was just another one of those things you get put up for and you go for an audition and frankly, I was not eager to go for it because I wasn't a fan of Howard Stern. Is that I didn't, right? I didn't hate him. But I you didn't, didn't love him. Didn't listen to his shows. I knew guys like that. I mean, I was living in New York. There were a lot of guys like that. So, what made you acquiesce and decide uh, well, to audition? I still was not too excited about it, but there were a couple of good actors around in the business, and Allison Janney was one of them. And she's someone I never worked with, but I always liked her. We see each other at auditions occasionally, and she was, you know, this is long before all the good stuff that's happened for her. Yeah. I'm, just, I'm so happy for her. She's so good. And they said, well, Alice and Jenny's doing it. And so I can't remember the other actors. And I went, really? Oh, well, oh, okay. And I'm glad. I, I'm always glad I've done things. What was he like to work with? Did he eventually win you over? When people said, what's he really like? And I, and I said, I don't know what he's like now. I said, um, a teenager. Hmm. You know, not, a, not a bad guy, but just like a, a kid. Yeah, immature. Very. Very. You know, very unsophisticated. And, of course, he didn't know what he was doing. And, uh, because he'd never made a movie before. 
And I'm sure he was a little insecure because of that, which probably oh, made I it a bit so. challenging. Oh, I think so. He wasn't an un unpleasant fellow, but uh, I don't think... What would you talk about? <laughs>
the last thing was that she wanted two years for the next contract. At, at the end of the six years, she wanted two years to go for eight, and they wouldn't give it to her, so she left. Okay, so the last four words of this season, Mom, yeah, I'm pregnant. Now, Amy had been talking about those four words for years. What did you make of them when you saw them on the page? Actually, they didn't, they didn't, um, they didn't have them on the page. <gasps> So you didn't know? No, I finally asked Alexis. Okay, thought, so who's the father? Good question. Are we getting more Gilmore? Who knows? She might come back around and, and do it. Yeah, have another generation. And there's Rory with her daughter. Yes. You know, she. I wouldn't put it past her. Okay. But no one's no one's spoken to me about it. Kelly, thank you so much for surfing by. You were awesome. Thank, thank you, you, thank so you, thank much. you. And you can catch new episodes of Couch Surfing right here on People TV. Bye.